Goddess Goddesses. Hello, hello, hello. Haley Morgan here. Stop doing stuff for your man or the man that you're dating, the man that you're seeing, the man that you're living with. Stop doing stuff for him and instead speak his love language. What is a man's love language? Well, it's not the same as a woman's. I'm going to keep this video really short today. Just a quick tip for you goddesses that oftentimes Times we give our partner what it is that we want from him and I heard this story just the other day of one of our family friends who's with a man they're engaged right now and the polarity is messed up but she doesn't know anything about polarity and she's giving him acts of service. She's doing things for him in hopes that he will appreciate her, he'll value her, and he will in turn give to her and also take action to support her, to make her feel nurtured so that she can lean back and receive. Oftentimes I hear about this a lot where women give to get. We do acts of service, we take actions for expressing our love to our partner, believing that men are like us, that they want to be taken care of, that they want to be nurtured. And actually, this is not true, okay? Men will like being taken care of, but it's not going to make them feel devotional. It's not going to make them feel inspired to scratch your back too, it's not going to create the dynamic that you think it's going to create. And in fact, a lot of the times, the reason why we do this is because we're giving in order to get. We're giving conditionally. And we don't even know that we're doing it conditionally. But for example, one of my family friends, her fiance came home and he had a really long, hard day of work. And so, he had said he was going to clean out the garage, but he was really tired, and so she empathized with him, which is completely fine. You can absolutely empathize with your man, but she took it a step further, and she said, let me clean out the garage, and, and you rest, and so she cleaned out the garage, and he appreciated it, but she didn't get anything in return, okay? She didn't get his action in return. Instead, what happens when a man is in his receiving energy, you're in the masculine, you're giving, you're serving, you're taking the actions to make his life easier, make his life better, and he's now in the feminine, he will appreciate it, but that's where it's going to stop. He's also going to become more and more passive. So he's going to keep leaning back, keep leaning back, and he's going to feel less inspired, less motivated to take action. He's deactivated. He's leaning back and you're the activated one. And so now you're going to build up resentment. You're going to start feeling really frustrated. You're going to want to go to couples counseling because you don't understand why your needs aren't being met. You're trying to communicate your needs when really you just have to speak his love language. Okay, so what is a man's love language? It is very, very simple, goddess. Every man's love language is for his woman to simply receive and respond. To receive his leadership, his acts of service, his love, and to respond. Respond with your energy. Respond with your emotional body. Respond with your body language. That does not mean react. That does not mean, okay, now what can I do to go return this favor, right? Keyword being, what can I do? Men don't want you to do. They really don't. If you want to speak his love language, all you have to do is just let him give to you and then express how that feels. That's it. And guess what happens? This is why it's a man's love language. A man loves 
seeing a woman in pleasure that he created. He loves seeing you happy and he wants to feel successful. Men want to feel successful in their relationship container. They want to feel like I can make my, my woman happy. I can put a smile on her face. I can satisfy her. I can satisfy her in the bedroom. I can satisfy her in life because I see that she is receiving. So when it comes to receiving and responding, it really is all about how in tune you are with your own body goddess. And I do want to keep this short. I have a whole video on my YouTube on you know, feminine expression and how to tune into your feminine energy, how to activate your feminine energy. But the quickest way I'll demonstrate this for you is that, let's say for example, my man took out the trash for our family. If I was like most women, I would think, okay, well now I'll do the dishes. I'm going to do tit for tat because I want him to see like, I love you. So I'm going to do this thing for you. Instead, what I would have you do is just say, oh, thanks for taking out the trash, babe. And then maybe give him a little peck on the cheek. You receive it. You let it in. If you jump to go do something else, you didn't really receive it. And he's going to feel that. It's going to be like you just deflated his balloon because you didn't appreciate what he did. Instead, you jumped to go doing something else. So he feels like you popped his balloon. And what he did didn't really matter. And he didn't really make you happy. Okay? So speak his love language, goddess. Let it in. And there's a difference. I've said this in a video before. Between saying like, thanks, babe. I really appreciate it. And wow, thank you for doing that. And like really expressing that gratitude. Really feeling that gratitude. So that's my quick tip for you goddesses today. Thanks for joining me. And I'm sending you all so much love and support. If you like these quick tip videos, let me know, drop a heart, and I will see you on the next one.